So your hard disk is full and you want to do something about it. You want to remove your old files, you want to remove your old folders, what should you remove? Okay, what if as a tool you can view all of these things? Space Sniffer will help you to do all of these things. So continue watching and welcome to Hack Explorer. Okay, so let's start exploring what Space Sniffer is. So you can get Space Sniffer from Udezo IT. I mentioned the link in the description. This will be a GUI tool that shows your disk space and the folder structures in a tree map view. The installation of Space Sniffer is very easy. It's a portable download, so you can download it from here. Let's start exploring our disk drive with Space Sniffer. Once you extract the folder, you will get spacesniffer.exe file run this as administrator so you will have full access to the drive that you are selecting uh, I'm going to choose the drive D and click on start Space Sniffer will take some time to scan your drive you can see the progress in the top left corner and while scanning we can see this is the D drive and these are the subfolders within the drive and in blue color these are the files that you have you can zoom into a folder by double clicking on it and you can see the files inside this folder if I go back you get to the normal disk drive if you want to see uh, more details in the hard disk drive click on the more detail button and you can reveal what are the files within the hard disk drive in this style all the files will be shown in blue color if you want to see what files are available and the file types it's very easy click on use file classes button and it will color the file contents by type so the red color represents all the video files or the media files uh, green color you can see these are some jpg files that i have and you can see there's uh, other files which are not classified which is shown in light blue and these are the iso file disk images so it's very easy to see file classes if you go to edit configure styles you can see videos and movies how it colors the file if you don't find the extension you can edit over here right and these are the file types that we have we can see my study folder has occupied a large space in the disk so most are vmdk files these are virtual machine hard disk files uh, it's having the default color so what i can do is i can create a class for this Code configure and I'm going to add a description. Yep, I'm going to create a new file group. Uh, you can specify a name like uh, okay and with VDI and VMDK files. I'm using both the VMware and VirtualBox extensions. So VMDK this is one extension that I have. You can see. It colored I'll give you color like a purple okay and these are the VDI files so I want to include the VDI files also in this so now you can see both now we can use the filter bar to get more detail you can type uh, the file type that you need uh, for example asterisk.vmdk which will only show what are the VMDK files that I have. So you can see uh, this file extension takes about 108 gigabytes of my disk space. Uh, now, if you want to see the file, you can always go right click, click open, which will open the folder for you. So you can see it's a Windows Server 2008 virtual hard disk drive. Uh, what's the file file name that we have? The Windows 2008 VMDK. You can see it over here, and you can see the size as. Hmm, Let's say you want to see the file size without the, these large file types. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this bar sign and a strict dot vmdk, which will exclude the files. I need to get rid of my old uh, media files. You can see there are a lot of TV series which I have downloaded, and I have a lot of movies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see what are the file types, okay, ABI and MKV. Now there's an easy filter for this one. If you want to see what are the files that is audio and video content are there, so just go to configure 
and you can see video and movies just copy this so just type this class and specify the class type that you need so videos and movies okay and you can see 225 gigabytes of data uh, in this particular folder i want to delete some old movies that i have or outdated stuff that i have in my hard disk drive if you want to clear up some space you can always use the date filter to find uh, the outdated files the old files so i can use the date filter like this you can say specify the more than sign and specify the date month or year followed by the number so i'm going to uh, give something like more than one year so here in this field what it'll do is show me all the videos and movies that are more than one year old this will search by the modified date you can see uh, it did a small change but okay only 220 gp i'll just say five years so you can use year or years more than 100 gb of data that is more than five years old let's put, push the bar and uh, search for 10 years okay i have data that is more than 10 years old so i have the season of heroes fringe yeah exactly you can see the modified date is more than 10 years old let's push okay 15 years mm, the it crowd that was like modified 19 years back so i can easily remove this tz because I'm, not, I'm sure i'm not going to watch this but the idea is you can see how i, I can fill the data and you can delete from here if you press delete or you can always right click and delete and clear the disk space so this is how you use uh, the filters you can find more information on this by going to the manual all the information about filters and how to filter with the examples you'll find in the user manual right okay so these are some important things that i want to show another useful feature in space sniffer is you can get a snapshot of your disk which shows what was available in the disk at a later time even if the disk is deleted you can see what information so this is mostly good for forensics purposes or if you want to compare what files were deleted so a snap taking a snapshot is very easy uh, so i'm going to uh, file export file so you can see there's a lot of options that you can have over here i'm going to select this spacing with binary snapshot click over here so snapshot remember it doesn't contain date only contains the file information and where it was available and some of the file sizes we'll open this and see so and i'm going to save this right cool so <clears throat> i can open another drive or a snapshot i'm going to open my snapshot which i took and click start so it will read the snapshot file uh, this is a side-by-side -side comp comparison of the snapshot and the actual hard disk drive so I'll go into more details in here and I can enable the file classes so just as uh, you can see my file classes are also working so if you delete a file from here you'll be able to easily find out what happened uh, just to show you how powerful it is I'm going to Remove my hard disk drive. Okay. You can still open the snapshot file and see what was in your hard disk uh, at a state. So, this is good for forensics. So, you don't need the actual hard disk drive. You can still search JPG files. So, these were the JPGs. But unfortunately, you can't open anything. The maximum thing you see is file type and the creation and the file size that was available okay and that was space sniffer so if you like this video please give a thumbs up and if you have any questions please comment below and if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe see you soon in another video